this is really hard for me after hearing this wave there are two at least affordability crises there's the one that Vikrant almost corrected your language mistake by noting that what you mean by affordable housing in all of the presentations and in all of the language and in all of the insults and diminishing of middle class people who are struggling with affordability is that you mean subsidized housing, which I've spent hundreds of hours supporting. But if you came to my city or cities like mine and did community outreach, for example, to the people who are about to be evicted as the President Hotel returns to a hotel who are not eligible for subsidized housing but face an affordability crisis or talk to the teachers in the three teacher forums I've talked to who are not eligible for subsidized housing but face an affordability crisis. Derica has construction workers who are really low income and could really use subsidized housing. And when Derica succeeds in getting those people a really good wage, they're still going to be housing challenged, affordability challenged, but they're not going to be eligible for subsidized housing. So when Denise and Derica come up and talk about increasing housing production, not just for affluent people, we're not just affluent and poor. There are an enormous number of people in the middle who are housing challenged and in some ways building those units, getting them entitled is harder than simply saying, well, if we had several billion dollars, we could build subsidized units. Please let the affordability crisis for the folks into the middle, into your language, into your policies, and into your heart, even if those at the low end have the highest priority, I hope they don't have the only priority about affordability.